Hey guys, Coach Nick with Friction CrossFit. I'm gonna break down your guys' Sunday Hero Wad for you. Uh, we'll get started with our warm up for today. You'll start off with two minutes of cardio zone one pace. Uh, so you can go out for a jog or a row or a bike, whatever option you have, and just nice easy for two minutes, nothing too crazy there. After that, we have a 15 10 5 rep scheme. We're gonna do good mornings, push ups, and jump squats. So let's go over those movements. As far as a good morning, remember we're just hinging at the hips. Bending forward, uh, trying to keep our back nice and flat as we push our hips back and we come back to that neutral standing position. You should feel the tension in the back of your legs, the hamstrings specifically. Um, so make sure we're just bending over, keep your legs a little bit straighter if you're not quite feeling that movement. So again, we're just right here, down and back up. Uh, from there, we'll drop down into that push up. So for a push up, just looking for thighs and uh, chest to touch the ground, elbows stay nice and close to the body, touch. Press out, get a good lockout at the top. Again, chest and uh, thighs touch the ground and then a lockout at the top. From there, we're gonna pop on up and we've got those uh, 15 squat jumps. So as far as depth, you know, everything stays the same as far as uh, standards. You know, chest is up, push your knees out, sit back and down. And um, yeah, other than that, make sure we get proper depth. So I'm all the way down and then I'm gonna explode up enough to leave the ground so much that I could put a piece of paper under my feet. So again, full squat, jump at the top, go ahead, rattle those off. Um, after that guys, we'll hit our mobility. As far as mobility, we have a minute per side in lizard and then a minute in up dog and down dog and then we'll finish off with two minutes in box child's pose. Make sure you get all your mobility guys. It's very important that we do this. Um, just good body maintenance there. So as far as a lizard, we'll go into that long lunge, looking for that front shin to be vertical. You can be on your hands, otherwise drop down to your forearms, but you're just gonna hang out here for a minute and then go ahead and switch sides. After that, we do have our up dog and down dog. So for up dog, I'm gonna have to bend over there. There we go. Um, so for that up dog, I'm just gonna press up. I wanna keep my hips on the ground. I can even look up, really intensify that stretch. That's a good one there. And then as far as down dog, I'm just gonna bring my feet in just a touch and I'm gonna press back, really stretch those hamstrings out. So go ahead, hit both of those stretches. And then our last one, guys, is a box child's pose. So if you have a chair or a box, you can grab that and we'll sink down. There we go. So we'll sink down into our normal child's pose. So I'll sit back. I'm gonna put my hands up on my chair and then really sink past, stretch those shoulders out even a little bit extra with that chair. If you don't have a chair or box that you're comfortable with height, just do a normal child's pose on the ground. That'll work as well. Um, after that, everything side and we've got our Metcon. So today's Metcon is Jack. Uh, this one is in honor of Army Staff Sergeant Jack M. Martin III. He was 26, of uh, Bethany, Oklahoma, and he died on September 2909. Uh, so again, this one is in honor of him. So let's go over what the movements are. Uh, it is a 20 minute aim rep. So we're gonna go through it as many times as you possibly can. Keep track of that. And then you've got 10 push press at 115 and 85. You've got 10 AKBs at 53, 35, and you're gonna finish it off with 10 box jumps. Um, as far as you know, scaling options, you can go 95, 65 on the push press, uh, 35, 26 on your kettlebell, and then lifestyle is gonna be 45, 35 on that push press, followed by 26, 18 on that kettlebell. Um, and then on the box jumps, we can go to box step ups, or we can do tuck jumps if you don't have a box that you're comfortable stepping on or jumping on. Uh, so let's talk about these movements. If you have a barbell, we'll roll that in right now, uh, but we'll go over that push press, so you know feet are under our hips hands are just outside of our shoulders elbows are in front of the bar we're going to initiate that dip so i'm going to drive down and stay nice and vertical press that barbell up overhead make sure the head comes through we finish nice and tall with the barbell over the top so again we'll hit all 10 make sure that you're locking out at the top with the legs we're not re-dipping it is a push press not a jerk um, that is your push press if you need to scale Let's talk real fast. Say you only have a dumbbell at home or a kettlebell, um, or you don't have either of those and you're using like a gallon jug or a, a bottle of laundry detergent, uh, we're gonna do 10 per arm on the push press. So everything stays the same as far as setup. We've now just got the dumbbell on a shoulder. Again, dip, we'll drive it up, good lockout. Think bicep by the ear, return, 
Again, dip locked out with the legs locked out at the top. Cool. So again, if you've only got one dumbbell or one kettlebell or the, you know, the gallon jug of water, then you're going to do 10 on both sides. From there, we've got those AKBs. Um, I do not have a kettlebell, so we're going to show you how to do an AKB as far as with a dumbbell. Um, you could class with two hands, uh, but I'd recommend just doing five per arm on a single arm kettlebell swing. So I'm going to hold it like a hammer. And then other than that, the kettlebell movement stays the same. I hinge, I come all the way up overhead for that AKB and I'm just rocking back and forth, getting five in there and then switching arms and doing five there. If you've got the kettlebell, do them with all 10 with the kettlebell, both hands on it. Um, otherwise, if you've got like a gallon jug of water, if you can only get one hand, just do five per arm, really focused on the hinge movement and just getting our glutes and our hamstrings. And then finally guys, that box jump. Again, if you've got the jump or the box or a chair that you feel comfortable on, you can jump or step onto that. If you don't have either of those, we're just going to go for a tuck jump. And all you're going to do for a jump, tuck jump is jump as high as you can and bring your knees to your chest. So I'm going to squat down like a jump. As I explode up again, bring those knees up. So I'm here. And again, just tucking those knees. That is it for your workout, guys. Again, it's in honor of Jack uh, Martin III. Um, so make sure that you know you dedicate this one to him and go get after this one uh, Enjoy it. This weekend's nice. Have fun on this Sunday, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks